Hey, I'm Sam and I do design and in the video today, I'm sharing my secrets on taking photos of iPad screens. So this is kind of a confession video for me because I've got so many questions over the past few years on how I take photos of my iPad to post to Instagram while I can expose for the screen being on and also the table or desk being exposed correctly as well. This is a uh, video to tell you guys that it's not magic and uh, I haven't got some super crazy camera that can expose with HDR and amazingness. Um, it's all just composited in my iPad. So I'm sorry to come clean about that. Uh, I guess I owe it to you guys. Um, but that's the purpose of this video. I'm gonna show you how you can do it yourself. If you've got access to an iPad, you've got access to the free Autodesk Sketchbook app, which is the app that I use to do it. Um, so this is just gonna be a quick tutorial to get everyone up to speed and we can all start cheating on Instagram together. So what we're gonna do now is jump into Autodesk Sketchbook uh, and we'll just get going because it's a super quick tutorial. So let's go. Okay, so we're in Sketchbook now and we are just gonna to go to a new canvas and import from image, import from photo. And if I scroll down, you can see from my albums that I've got an iPad album. So this is the Sam Does Design iPads bank. This is every single post that I've made uh, since moving into my new flat about nine months ago. Uh, so if you go and scroll through my feed uh, and think, oh, how did he get the exposure the same all the same time? Um, it's because it's the same photo set every time. So what we're gonna do now is just click on this, which is gonna set up a new canvas using this iPad. So we've got the iPad as a canvas on here now, and what we're gonna do is add in the screenshot of a sketch that I did a few days ago uh, of a Nordgreen watch, which is the sponsor of today's video. Um, so I'm gonna come in here and you can see I've got this screenshot that I favorited here with the um, sketchbook app. Uh, all of the UI included and that's going to make it more real when I post it to Instagram later on. So what I'm going to do now is um, I could start using this tool here and start to move each point around but I'm not going to do that. Uh, what I'm going to do is instead insert it without moving it. Okay that's now banked, that's in there. Now what I'm going to do is tap on the image and just decrease the opacity just a little bit, okay? What decreasing the opacity is gonna let us do is when I go back in to move the screenshot with the move tool, which is here, uh, I can press this button and I can line it up and still see through the image to the iPad on the other side. What you'll notice is you can start to see the screen where the screen starts and the bezel starts. Uh, there's a slight dif uh, distance there. So what I'm gonna do is just quickly put it into position. You guys can take your time on this if you want. And what I sometimes do as well, just to give it that extra bit of um, crispness, is I overshoot the screen size. So it makes the iPad look a little bit more futuristic, which is, I think, cheating a little bit too much, but it makes the image look a lot nicer. So once you've got it into position, press done. You can raise the opacity. And there you go guys, we've got an iPad correctly exposed on the desk and correctly exposed on the screen. And it took 30 seconds, even though I was talking to the camera. For the next tip that I wanna give you, a bonus tip, what I like to do is go to a new layer, get out the ruler tool, and then with a thick paint tapered brush from the designer set, it's quite thick over here. What I'm gonna do is just paint black all over this Apple Pencil. And the reason being is gonna become clear in a minute, okay? I'm just gonna paint just like that, just so it covers most of the uh, Apple Pencil there. Now, if I then go and tap onto the layer, press blending, and then go down to color, what that's gonna do, if I turn that on and off, can you see how I was using a warm light in the room, and then I turn it on and it's just made the Apple Pencil uh, a more silver color like it is in real life. I do that a lot of the time um, just to give it more like it's lit properly instead of just in my uh, room uh, in my flat. Um, so there you have it, that's literally it. Then what you do is you go export, share, save the image. 
then what you can do is crop that image to the crop that you want before posting it. And then as soon as you post it, it's going to look perfectly um, as if it wasn't edited at all. I would like to say a huge thank you to Nord Green for making this video possible. They sent me out, if you haven't noticed, this beautiful watch on my wrist. It's as if I planned it from the start. It's a watch company with watches designed from Jakob Wagner, which is a prolific designer from Bang & Olufsen, no less. So if you love the Bang & Olufsen speakers, you're gonna love these watches. Uh, they do them in two different sizes for large wrists and small wrists. They do interchangeable straps and uh, they're just so clean and minimal and for everyday life. So thank you to Nord Green for sending out the watches. Really appreciate it. If you guys like the Nord Green watch that I've sketched here and the one that I'm wearing on my wrist here, you can go and check out the description down below because I'm giving you 15% off uh, in collaboration with Nord Green if you use the voucher code SAMDD, which I guess stands for Sam Does Design. Um, so go ahead, check out their website, and if you want to pick up a watch for yourself, don't forget to use that code for 15% off. Thanks, Nord Green. So there it is, guys. That's how I take a photo of my iPad and expose for the desk and the screenshot all in one go. Uh, I'd love to see your versions of this over on Instagram, so tag me on these images if you make them yourself over on there. Uh, if you learn anything new, don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and hit the bell button and everything else that YouTube asks you to do. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.